Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading Purple Hyacinth, episode 75 to 76. Due to Webtoon's new policy, I do have to blur 50% of each episode, so yes, the cat logo is coming up. But if you guys want to read along with me, it's, web, uh, it's available on webtoons.com. And for anyone who wants to access this on my private channel, uh, that does give you guys uncensorship, no cat logo, and early access to everything. It is available on patreon.com slash cktchaotic. Let's go ahead and get started. And again, so they have music for this one and I normally will calibrate it um, to make sure it doesn't be too loud on my end, but you guys should be able to hear it without like super blaring in your ears. Here we go. Purple Hyacinth, episode 75. Raphael? Uh, huh? Uh, huh? Thru Ooh, kinda loud. Hopefully it's not too loud for you guys. Okay, let's do that. Uh? Will you be okay if I go after the lieutenant? Mm. T -t 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 Raphael, how many times are you going to run away? I know you recognized me. You. Will. Ten years. We didn't even know if you were alive. When did you come back to Artilus? You've been here the whole time? Is this the reason you left us? Hey, you better have a freaking explanation. Because I've been waiting for one for the past ten years. I... I'm sorry, William. You're sorry? Th that's it? Do you even know what I went through because of you? Did you know Mother is dying? And when she sees me, she calls for you, and you're sorry? Not even a goodbye. Only a miserable letter. You never planned to come back, did you? <sighs> you are Lulu. And you've been ro working with the Purple Hyson. He was following us the whole time. And he knows who Kieran is. I figured you might not be very cooperative at first, so I took precautions. If you don't want this picture leaked to your superiors, give me Aunt Flo's photo and any copies of it. I'm going to untie you now. Don't scream. Abel Sandman, why are you alive? I think you mean, why are your parents dead? You must know by now it wasn't an accident. The Phantom Scythe ordered you to kill them? Yes, the leader himself. Why? You know who he is? What did he, he have to do with my parents? No, I still have no idea who he is. But as for your parents, you've been to Orion's, Orion's Prince Shop, seen the basement. I'm surprised you haven't figured it out already. The Snapdragon? The Phantom Scythe was involved somehow? Getting closer. The Phantom Scythe killed them all? <laughs> Wrong answer, detective. Is that what they teach you in the academy? Uh, I, I thought the Phantom Scythe was some sort of rival group. The Phantom Scythe is the Snapdragon. 
or rather, what it became. Ask yourself what could turn a peaceful group like that into something like the Phantom Scythe. For sure, questionable individuals joined the second time around, but years of being trampled like insects, ignored and then killed like dogs, they had to try something new. Allendale was a demonstration of force. You mean some members of the Snapdragon survived? Even back in the early days, they knew their survival depended on anonymity. But a rumor ran among the earliest among the earliest members of PS. We were only a handful of members back then, closer to the apostles. Apparently, the leader was one of the Snapdragon's survivors, and the very few others became his first apostles. What does this have to do with my parents? Everything. I was always sort of driving them to weird places at strange hours. Come on, Ren. You're smart. You found the print shop somehow. They're pamphlets. You're implying that my parents were part of the Snapdragon? But they survived the massacre. Even in the earliest days, the people to know the leader's identity were extremely rare. And those stepping out of line, or traitors, eradicated. No. Rachel and Alexander, your parents, they knew the leader. You know what that means, right? They were apostles. <gasps> Purple Hyacinth, episode 76. Your parents, they knew who the leader was. You know what that means, right? They were apostles. But don't, but don't. Yes, your parents were two of the leader's first apostles. But don't, they can't be. They couldn't have. They knew who the leader was. How? How can you know for sure? <sighs> I don't. Soon after the ATS, ATST, I received the order to kill them. They didn't know I was a Phantom Scythe member at the time. And I was never told what their role was. But I heard things and one night, I overheard them talking. He will kill us, Alex. We know who he is. We've been with him since that the start. It was never supposed to turn out like this. This isn't the Snapdragon anymore. What happened to the other survivors? I'm sure it was his doings. I know. Whatever happens, we must do what we can to protect her. They already knew the leader was after them. They knew who he is. And in the Phantom Scythe, only the Apostles know the leader. And this is true. Did they? Know about the explosion too? Did they endorse it? <sighs> and they just let us... I never suspected anything. I never heard a single lie that hinted at any of it. Even I believe him. He isn't lying. He isn't lying. He killed my parents because the leader ordered him, ordered him to. <laughs> because they were apostles. And what? They did something he didn't like? Why? Why would he? And you, how could you? How could you? My parents were good to you. Why didn't you warn them? I loved Rachel and Alexander, but it was them or, well, I think they knew what fate was awaiting them. How could?
अनहद है Why? Why tell me all of this? You could have just blackmailed me with the picture you showed me. As hypocritical as it sounds, I want to help you. I regret what happened to your parents. That I left you an orphan. I've made so many orphans. I've been a mercenary for Phantom Scythe for a decade. I've killed, stolen, spied for them, wrecked so many lives, including yours. Completely destroyed mine, too. As far as anyone knows, I'm officially died in that car accident. I'm only a ghost, executing endless, dirty work until I actually die. At some point, the leader's goal may just been justified, but... I'm afraid what comes next is worse than anything we've seen before. So why me? Because of Loon? I want to make at least one thing right. So I'm starting with you. And maybe if you su succeed, I'll get to watch the bastards burn. Ugh. The Purple Hyacinth already gives you valuable insight into the Phantom Scythe. But I've been in the business much longer than him. And you reviewed all of this to me in exchange for Onslow's picture? And what? My freaking forgiveness? <sighs> Just a picture. Consider the rest in mutual self-interest. <laughs> I'll get you the picture. You still haven't answered. Why were you ordered to kill my parents? I don't know. The leader didn't say. Maybe they wanted to quit too. But no one leaves the Phantom Scythe alive. <gasps> I see. <sighs> Considering Loon's work, I'm guessing you're trying to find Apostle Seven, tracking the subordinates, co coordinating his weapons import. Yes. Do you know anything about it? Probably as much as you do. You followed them more closely than I could. I know my old friend Sake was involved. There's a woman we still haven't been able to identify. Middle-aged, dark hair. She's in charge of weapons hideout. I don't know anything more. I'll see what I can find. Ta, ta, ta. Looks like your cop friends are getting closer, little Ren. Expect to hear from me in two weeks. I'll have the woman's name by then. Do not try to look for me or contact me. And you better not forget about Ansel's picture. Sandman. Don't ever call me Ren again. One last thing. On the day of the explosion, I know a third Phantom Scythe member was with you in the car, Robin Delaney. And three were children. What happened to them? Delaney didn't last long, executed. And I don't know about the children. Did you know any of the children? No. He lied. Huh? <sighs> Clear. He lied, so he did know one of those children. Wow. All right. That these are the most like epic and wonderful reads. I loved it so much. 
Oh, my heart. Okay, guys, if you guys enjoyed my webtoon reaction slash reading style, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments on how y'all feel about these two episodes. Mind blown. All right, guys, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!